Charles Darwin revealed how evolution works, but not what it really means. Evolution is no longer just a theory, it has been proven true beyond a reasonable doubt. The problem is, even people who believe evolution is true disassociate themselves from the process. They somehow skipped all the lower forms of animal life and just started out at the top of the evolutionary ladder. The evidence says we evolved as life evolved. Human beings did not just appear at the top of the evolutionary ladder to reap the benefits of those millions of years of evolution without having to live through the many life lessons we must endure. In other words, you were those other animals. Someone had to be them. You had to be low animals to be a human now. You lived as all the different animals in your evolutionary line. You lived through millions of years, and millions of lives and deaths to get where you are now. That's what Darwin's book means. In addition to the fossil evidence, the genetic code proves that all animals, including us, evolved from bacteria over the last 700 million years on Earth. In other words, you were a microbe, an insect, a fish, a dinosaur, an ape. When all of the evidence 100% says something happened, and there is no evidence zero that anything else could have happened, it is the truth beyond a reasonable doubt to honest, rational people. We have come a very, very long way, but we have a little further to go. The next and last step in our evolution is learning and accepting the truth of life, and this includes acknowledging our true past. The truth will free us from the animal world we all evolved from. Immortality. It is impossible to be conscious of being and conscious. It is not possible to be aware of being and conscious from your own perspective. You cannot be aware of not being aware. You can be less aware or conscious, such as when you are asleep, but not completely and conscious, because time would stand still and your evolution would never progress for you. How do you know you are dead? It is not possible to be aware of any gaps in life. It is continuous and never-ending from your own point of view. Death and birth are a continuous event from your own perspective. You will die physically, but you will be born into a new physical body. Being born happens, or you would not be here now. You were born into this life. It is what we know happens. The you only live once theory. Many people say that they do not believe in reincarnation. They believe when you die, you're dead. What about fish, clams, horses, bears, flies? People that say you only live once are saying some souls get to live just one life as a worm, and that is it for all of eternity. Other people believe you are judged by a god after you die. Is the worm judged? Many people think human beings are the only animal that is conscious. Is a dog or cat conscious? Where do you draw the line? Is a bird conscious? The truth is that all animal life is conscious and alive just like us. The only thing that makes humans different from other animals is that we have a mind that can think and reason at a high enough level to know the truth of life and those that know rise above animals. It is time to see and accept the truth the evidence supports. You are immortal. It is impossible to not be because it is impossible to be conscious of being and conscious. Just that one sentence proves it. It is like these sentences. It is impossible for it to be light and dark at the same time. The sentence it is impossible to be conscious of being unconscious is a simple and certain fact. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another acclaimed Albert Einstein. Like energy, consciousness cannot be created or destroyed. 
This revelation will change your life. Now you know where you come from and what you've been doing for about half a billion years evolving. The next question is how does life work and what is next? And we can know that too. People are trying to understand the universe independent of consciousness. And it is the most important factor in the equation. The universe as it relates to conscious life can be understood now. It is the ultimate truth of life. The truth that will transform mankind and the world. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. People do not realize what Isaac Newton's third law of motion really means. Everything is balanced. Everything physical matter and energy goes back and forth in balanced circles, cycles, or the equivalent. Birth and death, old and young, big and small, strong and weak, start and stop, up and down, rich and poor, beginning and end, and so on. Positive and negative forces moving in balance are the physical universe that we grow and evolve in. There are no exceptions to the laws of nature Newton revealed. They apply to all matter and energy. Human beings are matter and energy. Thus you and all humans are governed by the same laws. Good luck and bad luck are the balance in action and the way that balance most affects our lives. Luck is manifested on many levels. There is the day-to-day -day luck, from little things like getting a good parking space, or a bad one, to big things, such as winning the lottery, or finding out you have cancer. Then there is the long-term luck. You are lucky if you are born with good looks, money, health, talent and intelligence. You are unlucky if you are born unattractive, poor, sickly and without talent or intelligence. Most people are in between the extremes, but it does not matter, because we are immortal, and it will all balance out. Luck will move back and forth, everyone will get equal amounts of good and bad luck. What goes around comes around, everyone gets their turn. Death is the great equalizer. If you are born with advantages, you can have more good times than bad times in your life. But when you die, you are reborn with disadvantages and have more bad times than good times. In the long run, no one has it better or worse than anyone else does because life will always balance eventually. It is the known nature of the universe we live in. Everything is determined, the beginning as well as the end, by forces over which we have no control. It is determined for insects as well as for the stars, human beings, vegetables or cosmic dust. We all dance to a mysterious tune, intoned in the distance. Albert Einstein Destiny, not being in control does not mean our future is predestined. No one knows the future. The future cannot be known. Anything can happen. The only thing we can be certain of is that it will be balanced. The good news is, all of the best things are going to happen to you. The bad news is, so will all of the worst things, if you do not learn the truth. Consequences, people may think, if everything is balanced, then it does not matter what you do. That is true. If you want to continue living in the savage animal realm, if you want to evolve past the animal realm, to a realm where there is no fear, pain or death, you have to learn and spread the truth of life. You have to live as a spiritual being. If you live like an animal, you will continue to be one. The greatest gift, for the first time in history, the first time in our 700 million years on this planet, we can know life, know what we are, where we come from, and where we are going. 
we have to take advantage of this brief opportunity. It has been a long time coming and will be a long time gone. Sometimes people hold a core belief that is very strong. When they are presented with evidence that works against that belief, the new evidence cannot be accepted. It would create a feeling that is extremely uncomfortable, called cognitive dissonance. And because it is so important to protect the core belief, they will rationalize, ignore and even deny anything that doesn't fit in with the core belief. Cognitive dissonance, get to know these two words, it is the unseen enemy of mankind. It does more to cause war, crime and suffering than anything else, because it prevents people from learning and changing. If you are ready to overcome your cognitive dissonance and learn the truth of life. When you see the truth for the first time, it is what people call a peak moment, or a moment of clarity. You get a larger percentage of what each moment of life actually contains. You are filled with life. Your mind is the gatekeeper of life, and sometimes it lets a little true life in, but most of the time it does not. Seeing Niagara Falls or the Grand Canyon for the first time is a peak moment for most people. Why does it make you feel so alive? nothing really happens to you. Why doesn't it feel as good the second time you see it, you are seeing the same thing? The reason is, your mind opens up when something is special. The truth is, every moment of life is special, and you can be completely open to life most of the time. You have to see the truth to see true life. The truth just removes the unnecessary suffering, conflict and confusion from life. The truth about life is actually very simple. It is just hard to see for the first time. Life, it all boils down to how you feel from moment to moment, how often you feel good and how often you feel bad, and it will be balanced like everything else physical, Your infinite past was balanced, and your infinite future will be too, unless you change from a physical being into a spiritual being. To change into a spiritual being, you just have to know the truth, which changes your point of view and your perspective of life, so that you start to live your life as a spiritual being. Our life does not have to be just 50-50 like the physical world, because our spiritual self, our immortal self, is not physical and does not need to be balanced to exist. Our physical environment cannot fundamentally change, but we can, you just have to know it to do it. Nothing is going to make any real difference in your life except separating yourself from the balanced physical world. It can and will change everything. The truth reveals that you do not need to experience the bad to have the good. The bad will still happen, but you will perceive it differently. Good and bad. When you know the truth, you take the two sides of life, the good and bad side, and see them as one whole. You do this by understanding what the balancing force means. It means all bad times will pass and be compensated for by an equal amount of good times. It also means all good times will pass and be paid for with an equal amount of bad times. It will always balance. When you know the truth, you will enjoy the good times more and still avoid a bad time when you can. But when you cannot, the knowledge of the balance helps you get through the bad times. This is because knowing that the worse it gets, the better it will be, makes bad times almost enjoyable. More importantly, it centers your perspective of life. You see both sides of life, whole life, true life. The knowledge of the balance takes away your reasons to be mad, sad, hate, worrying, envy, be disappointed. It takes away all negative emotions and feelings. 
It removes all stress and negative mind-made feelings from your life. The mind starts disappearing, and true life starts appearing. As the mind gets smaller, life gets bigger. As the mind shrinks, life expands. When the mind disappears completely, your perception of life becomes clear. Eventually, you will only think when you have to, which is not very often. You will be able to accept the present of life, no matter what is happening. You change into a new being, a spiritual being, and you become the present, the eternal now. The more you live in the present, the more fulfilling life gets. Time will slow down. You will see the magic and wonder of life you saw as a child, and you will experience it without the ignorance and all the negative emotions of childhood. Soon, you will be able to see life better than a child sees it, or any animal has ever seen it. You will see the real world, an enchanted magical world. Most people are not aware of the fact that they have two different selves. You have a mind and a spirit consciousness, and though they seem like one thing, they are separate. The way to realize that this is true is to realize that something has to be listening to the thoughts created by your mind. What is it that hears your thoughts? There is the part of you that thinks and the part that hears the thoughts. The thinking part is your mind, the part that hears the thoughts is your spiritual self. You do not actually hear thoughts through your ears, because your mind is already inside your head. The point is, your spiritual self receives the things the mind creates in a similar way to hearing them. Just ask yourself, what is it that is hearing the thoughts you are thinking right now? It is your spiritual self, the same thing that receives all life. Mankind is currently living as their mind self, and as a result, does not know their spiritual self. Know thyself, as Socrates said. You have to know true life to know your true self. Perspective and perception. The same world is perceived differently by a frog and a cat, a cat and a dog, a dog and a human, a child and an adult, a woman and a man. You see something different than I do. All perspectives are unique. We do not see things the way they are. We see things the way we are. People see and experience life through their own mind and senses and from their own unique perspective and awareness level. This does not change the truth. The physical world will never change. It cannot change and still exist, but the way you perceive it can. Perception and perspective determine how clearly and truly you see life and how fulfilling or unfulfilling life is for you. Knowing the ultimate truth makes it possible for people to see life clearly and to be filled by it. You cannot control life, but you can change the way you see life. Animals other than man are more fulfilled, because they have less mind-blocking life, but they are stuck with the perspective and perception they are born with. We human beings can greatly improve our perception by learning the ultimate truth. All the problems we have stem from people not knowing the truth of life. The truth transforms a mortal man into an immortal spiritual being. It does this because the truth just shows you what you truly are, and that changes everything. The truth does the same thing for the way we see the world and for the same reason. It shows you life clearly, it shows you true life for the first time. It is hard to believe from your current perspective and level of awareness, but it is your own mind that makes life imperfect. The universe has to be perfect to exist. You do not have to believe it, 
you can know it. The present is the only thing that exists, the only thing you are ever conscious of. Your life is a series of presents moving through time. The future does not exist until it becomes the present. Life is one perpetual present. Creation is happening now. Your body, mind, and the world around it are being created from microsecond to microsecond. Things may look the same, but they are not. Everything is constantly changing and being recreated. Our life and our world is being created from moment to moment. Life and everything in it is always being created. People think that they are not good-looking enough, young enough, thin enough, smart enough, rich enough, etc. They live on the edge of the circle and just go around and around forever, lost in the illusions of their mind. Greener grass, the concept of past to future, and a distorted perception of the present keeps people running for the greener grass on the other side of the fence. They miss the present in the process, chasing the horizon. It is like running after the horizon. The faster you go, the faster it moves away from you. One day, you realize that it has been with you all along. All people want is what is in the present but they do not know it because they have never opened it. Almost no one knows what the present really. The present has to be our goal, because it is the only thing that exists. The big tease, your mind will open up part way from time to time to give you a taste of true life, and then take it away. It will attach the open moments to things that are hard to do, like things that cost a lot of money, things that are difficult or dangerous, or things that the mind considers to be new or exceptional. Your mind makes you pay for life in one way or another, and never lets you have it for free. A fulfilling life is always free and always available once you know the truth. It is the way we feel when our minds are completely open to life. We become filled with life. Being filled with life makes you feel the way you want to feel all the time. Fulfillment is true happiness. Doctors say that you feel good or happy because of the release of chemicals in your brain that make you feel good. This is true. Chemicals such as endorphins, Adrenaline, serotonin and dopamine make you feel good, but they do it by just allowing you to feel a little true life. A fulfilling life is always free and always available once you know the truth. It is the way we feel when our minds are completely open to life. We become filled with life. Like all drugs, the effect is temporary, and it has a balancing downside. The ultimate truth of life is not temporary and has no downside. No drugs are necessary. Fulfilled, in this animal realm, physical pain and pleasure will come and go. But you can always be filled with life fulfilled once you know the truth. Freedom, if you tie your fulfillment to things that happen in your environment, you are at the mercy of the constantly changing environment. You will only get a taste of fulfillment when things go your way, when you win or get what you want. Spiritual people are fulfilled when they lose. If you do not attach your fulfillment to what happens in your environment, you can be fulfilled no matter what happens. True freedom is having the ability to be fulfilled independent of what happens in the environment. Almost no one is free now. Only the truth will set you free. Being free means being free of the mind that hides true life from people. Instant gratification. Why put requirements on feeling good? True life is being given to us all the time. We just have to let it in all the time.
True life is instant and complete gratification that costs nothing. Being free is in your head. The secret, most people know you do not need things or things to happen to be happy be fulfilled, but most people do not know how it works. The secret is opening your mind. Without thought and negative emotions, the same thing happens that happens when you get what you think you want. You become as sensual as you can possibly be. You become your senses. It is just a state of mind, or state of no mind. It is your life, just take what is coming to you. You can be fulfilled whenever you want. The present is for you. Being fulfilled, being filled by life all the time, is the true goal of mankind. Everything that people do, directly and indirectly, good and bad, is to be fulfilled by life. Once you know the truth, you can skip all the things and just be fulfilled. The mind makes it impossible to know reality true life and to be fulfilled. The present with the mind blocking and distorting it is not fulfilling. It leaves you empty and full of desire for something to fill the emptiness. The things the mind does to try to fill the void just block life more. The more people run towards what they think they want, the more they miss it. Something missing. People feel that something is missing, because something is missing. True life is missing. Hope and belief. Believing and hoping something is true or going to be true does not make it true. If you do not start with the real truth, it is the truth, or it is not. There is no way to make something that is not true, true. The only real difference between mankind and other animals is our ability to reason and think. Thus, Reason has to be what we have to use to evolve further. We have to use what sets us apart from other creatures. The truth of life are as follows. There are only five fundamental things you need to know, and they are the following. Number one, our true history. Number two, you are immortal. Number three, everything will balance. Number four, you are a spiritual being. Number five, the present is everything. Here is the truth. If everyone looked at the big picture of life and stopped playing the victim in their lives to understand these life lessons, these trials and tribulations, is what helps us to evolve into spiritual conscious beings and that we are all interconnected. We are all as one, and we could live in peace, love and harmony together. So what are your thoughts about living your truth? Please feel free to comment your thoughts below. I would like to thank you for joining me here today on my channel, Enlightenment in the Darkness. Please like and subscribe to my content, many blessings to the rest of your day.